Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Uh, I wanted to show you my finds from this past weekend, which was um, the 21st of June. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, you might in my la I'm making this video and the last video um, the same day, and I'm just really tired. Lots of stuff going on here right now. Um, so. If, if I forget things or just, you know, kind of stop talking for a minute. <laughs> I'm still here. I've just kind of zoned out. Um, but I didn't get to go out Friday because on Friday, my son actually graduated from high school. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God, I was so happy. I think you, you guys probably heard me screaming from wherever you live when they called his name. And and then of course you know, the first thing I did when I found him after graduation was take his diploma out of his hands, open it up, and make sure it was actually his name on it. <laughs> oh, it has been such a long four years, and not because he's a bad kid. He's a great kid. He doesn't do drugs. He doesn't drink. He doesn't go to wild parties and do any of that stuff. He's extremely smart, but he's a little too smart for his own good and doesn't agree with how the educational system works and therefore for the past four years have been trying to fight it tooth and nail and in turn made my husband and my life absolutely miserable. Cannot tell you how many phone calls, emails, meetings that we have had <laughs> over the past four years. And then it's always followed by the teacher or the counselor telling us how absolutely brilliant our son is, but you know, his grades suck. <sighs> but other than a little close call the day before graduation where one of his teachers called and gave me a heart attack, um, we made it. Uh, thankfully, I knew that he didn't need to pass that class to graduate, but she called me and I saw the high school name on the caller ID and completely freaked out and answered the phone and she basically told me that you know he failed the course because he failed the final and when he got home the little pain in the butt told me oh yeah I knew I failed the final I said how do you know that he goes oh because I just went in there and I just filled in a for every answer it was one of those standardized fill in the dot test he filled in a for every answer He's like, yeah, I knew I didn't need to pass the class, and I've always wanted to do that. Could have strangled him. But, moving on. Sorry, I just needed to babble there. It's been, you know, four years worth of this. So, you got to deal with three minutes of me babbling. Or you can fast forward. Um, but, that night, he went to Project Graduation. Um, they went to Dave & Buster's, which is like a big, kind of, adult-style arcade, or adult, kind of Chuck E. Cheese down in Philly. And they lock them in there all night long. And I kept joking around with them the past four years and said, when you graduate, I want the present. I want a trophy. I want something. So when he came home, <laughs> it was 5.45 in the morning when I went to pick him up. And he got in the car. And the first thing he did was open his bag up. He goes, Mom, I know it's not a trophy trophy. He goes, but here you go. And he gave me this which I was thrilled to death about because I love Ghostbusters. It's one of my favorite movies. I love comedies, I love to laugh, and I'm constantly watching this whenever it's on TV. I have, I already had this guy that I found at a yard sale. I have the car, I have a big die cast car. And now I have my own little cuddly Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. <laughs> So this is my trophy, this is my reward for four years, but that's okay because I love him. And I was amazed that my child was thinking of me at Project Graduation for even a second. So, moving on. Um, for those of you who have not fast forwarded through me, um, I will show you what I bought on Saturday. First thing I went to a church sale, kind of a little far out there, but it was over the board, right over the border in Pennsylvania in, in New Hope and um, I, I saw all these signs for it because I had been out that way earlier in the week so I figured out oh, we'll try it. Worst church sale ever been to. 
Um, not because it was a badly run sale or anything, they just had nothing good. So what I ended up buying was this for, I think, 50 cents. This is a Tasmanian Devil, it's actually a hat from Great Adventure, which is the amusement park here in New Jersey. And then I got this guy, he's from Gund. He's a Sharpay, his name is Wrinkles. Really good shape, he just has one little stain here which I've been working on, so I gotta try one more time to get it out. Other than that, he's in really good shape. And then the only other thing that I got there were these two heavy kind of diner style coffee mugs. This one, you can tell, has been used a little. These are from, maybe this one shows up better. Yeah, this one shows up better. It's hard to read, but this says Hearthstone, um, 1982. These are selling on eBay, these Hearthstone mugs. I guess they're collectible. So, might not sell for a while. Um, might have to sell them together. But those cost me 75 cents each. So that was it for the big massive church sale, unfortunately. Um, then, hit a sale on the way back home. And they actually had some good stuff and good prices too. I got this, but I got this for my daughter. This is a Miji or Miji nail art kit with these um, nail pens. These are expensive. These are like $15 to $20 in the store. And I know that because I bought her another set. I think it might have even been a smaller set uh, for her spa basket that she requested for Easter. And um, these are really nice pens. I only paid a buck. And they're brand new. So she was happy about that. Also at that same sale, I picked up two of these coffee mugs. These are from, it says short subjects. Why this is printed backwards, I have no idea. Um, but they just look like these plain white polka dot mugs, but then they're the mystery or surprise mugs that have something in the bottom. That one has a ladybug, and that one has a butterfly. And they made a whole series of these, cats and cows and dogs and dragonflies and you name it. So, oh, um, those were 50 cents each. Shouldn't have a problem selling those. Uh, like, I've been having a lot of good luck with mugs lately, so hope it stays that way. And also at that same sale, got a nice Bible for $2, I think. This is a Zondervan Holy Bible with this Italian faux leather duo tone cover looks like it's never been used and the last two things I got from there and I was surprised I got them so cheap were these vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys I got this Mutations Muta Raft which has the box with it but it's been it has been played with but anyway there it is got that and then I got this which is the lifeguard Leo sewer spitting teenage mutant ninja turtle that sounds lovely yeah he spits which is gross but anyway um, comes with all the accessories brand spanking new in the package the package is a little messed up but the cards unpunched which is also good uh, these were both a dollar a piece. I might sell them together. Should make about, I don't know, say 30 to 40 on them. Something like that. Then I went to, I think it was a neighborhood sale. I'm trying to think. I don't remember. Anyway, um, at the neighborhood sale, didn't find too much, but I did find. These two turtle mugs, which are really cute, from Odagiri. I've always had a good good luck with Odagiri stuff. So I got those. These were both 25 cents a piece. And also picked up this donkey one from Shrek, which my daughter might confiscate, we'll have to see. Um, it was also a quarter. And let's see, also at the neighborhood sale, found this copy of Hip Hop Abs. It doesn't have any of the booklets or paperwork, 
but the most important thing is the DVDs and they're all in here and they're all in really good shape. But this should make probably at least 20. Um, this is actually a good exercise program. I have a copy of this myself that I found at another yard sale. Only bad thing is, is as you can kind of see from the expression on his face, this guy thinks a lot of himself. <laughs> and you know, in the middle of the workout, like every 30 seconds, he's lifting up his shirt and, you know, telling everyone how wonderful he is and how, you know, you could look like him and you could be as hot as he is. And I'm like, you know what, just let's get on with it. I really don't need to hear about you. So he's uh, kind of on an ego trip, so I might even sell my own copy as I'm just sick of listening to him. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, also at the one where I found the hip hop abs, I found some really nice hats. Some really nice baseball hats. Um, brand new. These are Mitchell and Ness hats from RSVP Gallery. These are strap backs. And they've got this leather faux snake skin stuff on the brim. But I got, these are all NBA. Got Milwaukee Bucks. Got the Hornets and the Mavericks and this one actually although I think the brim is a little bit different there's somebody on eBay trying to sell one of these for $150 because it's the same style hat that's in a picture that some paparazzi took of Kanye West so he has like Kanye West in his title and everything like ugh, that's actually a selling point Kanye West really oh Sorry if you're a Kanye West fan, but I am not. I think the guy is way too egotistical. Needs to be knocked down a few pegs, in my opinion. <clears throat> anyway, also got this nice um, Oakland A's hat. This is Stomper the Elephant, which I had no idea until I did a little bit of research. But this is a fitted hat. Um, this is a 5950. You can see that. There we go. 59.50, brand new, still has the hologram sticker, and seven and five eighths. So these were all two bucks a piece. Couldn't pass those up. They were in really nice shape. Uh, hoping to get maybe 20 out of each of them. And the last thing I found, last couple things I found at like community sale were this Build-A-Bear, and she's brand new with the tags, except someone wrote their child's name right there but still has the tags on. Got this for two bucks with the cute little outfit. And got a nice set of silverware. It's this very um, retro, like mid-century Danish modern style. Uh, have these synthetic wood handles in this design right here. And don't know if you can see this, but they say Echo, E-K-C-O, e like the bakeware. And the pattern is La Jolla. It's marked right on there, which I love. <laughs> Wish they all did that. And this cost me five. There's 30 pieces in here. I'll sell it as a lot. Probably go for, I don't know, probably 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. And finally, I went to an estate sale and they had some decent prices on stuff. So. I ended up buying a few things there. Did find a Scrabble game for a dollar. Uh, one thing with the Scrabble games, if you guys are buying them for the tiles like I do, always make sure that you open them and check that the tiles are in there because at the sale where I found the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, they had a Scrabble game sitting there and I opened it up and it ended up being two boards and eight of the um, tile racks with no tiles. And as soon as I opened it, the girl's like, oh yeah, there's no tiles in there. She goes, I use the tiles to make jewelry. And I started laughing because I'm thinking, that's why I buy them. So that I can sell them to people like you who make jewelry. So always, always check. They might not always be complete, but that's okay because you can supplement them with other, you know, sets that you find. But um, just open them up and check. So at the last sale, found the Scrabble game. That was a dollar. I found this mug from Hallmark, which would be nice for, you know, Father's Day or something like that, which has this figural fish handle on it. Don't know how these will do. I paid a buck for all of them, I think. These are, um, whoops, a bunch of old Ren and Stimpy 
pins and I know there's a lot of Ren and Stimpy fans out there and this is a nice kind of you know enameled one so I'll put these all together and I'll see how they do got some needlework kits again got this stitch and zip eyeglass case bought it because it was another Alice Peterson kit I just showed one of these eyeglass cases in my previous video should make about 10 maybe 15 on that these two little plastic canvas things like ornaments or something like that with perforated paper the barn and the church I'll probably might sell those together those were a dollar piece the eyeglass case was a dollar this is a home sweet home sampler really pretty with ribbon embroidery shouldn't have any problem getting at least 10 out of that it was also yeah I think all these were a dollar a Christmas stocking kit unfortunately this one isn't worth um, much maybe only about 10 um, like I've said before some of the stocking kits are worth a lot but this ain't one of them but it is brand new in the package which is good and then I got this pre-worked needlepoint kit this is um, needlepoint by Amanda or Amanda Needlecraft Company everything seems to be there uh, some of her kits are online but none of them are this pansy so I'm hoping that's good and that somebody wants it and finally my last find on Saturday was this which when you pull this out you can open it up and it's a little miniature backgammon and chest set this is from low dates from about I think the 1940s and this is the one of their bookshelf games and you can turn this over I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this out of here there we go there's the chess board there's the backgammon board the pieces are here there's little teeny tiny little dice aren't they cute <laughs> um all the chess pieces are here which is good they're complete there's a few of these um, little checker or backgammon pieces missing but that's okay because you could use you know you could substitute the chess pieces as long as all the chess pieces are there that's what I was most concerned with so should be able to get probably at least 15 maybe a little more out of that I've always had good luck with chess sets especially these little tiny travel sets so that is it um I don't know if I said it but I have um, I have family coming in tonight actually I am <laughs> really appreciating the quiet right now before everyone from Florida descends on my house tonight at like 11 o'clock um, and they're gonna be here for like two to three weeks so I may be twitching by the end of it love them to death but <laughs> I'm an only child I'm not used to having all these people around so my husband's family's coming in and they'll be here for a while they had to come earlier for uh, unfortunately for um, because we had a death in the family so everyone had to come earlier than planned so um, hoping to get out, get to some sales while they're here but I probably won't be able to make any videos until they leave so this might be it for me for a little while so thanks for watching everyone and have a great time picking and I'll talk to you soon bye